If the grammar for a language has no unit productions and no lambda productions, then any string of length n can be produced in at most 2n minus 1 steps. Consequently, the most efficient grammar for L minus lambda has no unit productions and no lambda productions. So how can we get rid of the lambda productions efficiently? We make the following definition. Let G be a context-free grammar. A is a nullable variable if either there is a production A produces lambda or there is a production A produces a string where each variable is a nullable variable. The recursive definition of a nullable variable suggests a recursive algorithm for finding them. Let's start with our initial set, which is the set of all variables that immediately produced lambda. And then to that set, we'll add all things where we produce any of these nullable variables. And we'll repeat this process until the set we produce is the same as the one we started with. This allows for a useful simplification. We only need to find those one-step conversions. So let's find the nullable variables in the language with the production rules. Since A produces lambda, A is in our initial set, and there are no other variables that can produce lambda directly. So N0 is just A. Next, we want to find variables that can produce A. We have C produces A, so C is in N1. While B produces A, C, this won't produce just A in one step, so we don't include it at this point. And so our new set is C together with A. Now we want to find productions that produce C or A or some string of them. Since B produces A, C, then B is in our N2, as well as C and A. Now we want to find productions that produce B, C, A, or some string. Since S produces A, B, C, D, but D is not in N2, then S is not going to be in N3. And neither is D, so there are no additional nullable variables. So N3 is B, C, A. And since N3 is equal to N2, we can stop. And so A, B, and C are nullable, while S and D are not. The set of nullable variables gives us an algorithm for eliminating the lambda productions. Intuitively, if N is the set of nullable variables and A is in N, then any production that includes A can be supplemented by a production that omits A. For example, if A is an N and S produces ABC, then we know there's a production A derives lambda, so there's a production S produces ABC, and since A derives lambda, we can derive lambda and get just BC, and so we can add the rule S produces BC. Now, an important idea to keep in mind, all the original rules have to remain in place. Now, that's the intuition, so let's do this formally. Let G be our grammar and N the set of nullable variables. To form a new set of production rules, we'll begin by letting P1 be our original set of production rules. Now, suppose A produces alpha is a production in P1, where alpha is a string of variables that includes one or more elements of our set of nullable variables. We'll add all productions A produces alpha prime, where alpha prime is alpha with any number of elements of N omitted. Then eliminate all productions A produces lambda, and also eliminate any duplicates and productions of the form A produces A. So, for example, let's try to eliminate our lambda productions from our grammar. We found the set of nullable variables A, B, and C. Now, since A, B, and C are in our set of nullable variables, then that first production rule S produces A, B, C, D can be extended. If one of the nullable variables is omitted, this gives us S produces B, C, D, S produces A, C, D, and S produces A, B, D. 
If two of the nullable variables are omitted, this gives us And if all three nullable variables are omitted, we have S produces D. And so we can extend our productions by including these additional rules. The rule A produces AA includes a nullable variable, which can be omitted, and so we add the rule A produces A. The rule B produces AC includes the nullable variables A and C, so if we omit one of the nullable variables, we get the rules. And if we omit both, we get B produces lambda, which is a new lambda production. But since B was in the set of nullable variables, we already had this lambda production. The rule B produces A, D must be extended by including the rule B produces D. The rule C produces A includes a nullable variable, which we can omit, giving us C produces lambda, which is another new lambda production. D produces A, D, or B has no lambda productions, so we can leave it alone. And now we can eliminate all lambda productions, and also any productions of the form X produces itself. If we eliminate the lambda productions from a language, we get the same language. Almost. If we eliminate all the lambda productions, we won't be able to produce lambda itself, so the language we produce is actually L minus lambda. We can prove this, but we'll let you do it.